Hello, welcome to Crystal's Literary Lounge. I'm Crystal, and today I wanted to talk about Dark Memory by Christine Feehan. So it is a paranormal romance, and it continues on this storyline that was developed in Dark Tarot a few books back by Feehan. It's in her dark universe, so we have vampires, we have shifters, and we have the Carpathian people. So um, in Dark Tarot, we were introduced to women who are from the ancient civilization of the Carpathians. And this one woman, she has sent out tarot cards to different parts of the world. They are um, linked to the guardian of these like gates to hell. And it's up to those women to read the cards and use the cards wisely to keep the gates closed. And there's also these ancient Carpathian males who are searching for their life mates and so far this specific like group who are best friends who lived in a monastery together for years trying to fight their urge of turning into the vampire they are the ones who are finding their mates and their mates are tied to these gateways into hell basically and they are battling Lilith who is in the underworld and she is the mate to sing. So each one of these women, um, not all of them are human, but most of them have been human. One's been a werewolf. In Dark Memory, uh, we have Safia, and she's our main female. She is our female character. She has been raised her whole life to fight vampires, to fight demons, and it's her responsibility to not only protect this doorway, but to protect her, her tribe of people. And so now, uh, because of something that happened in her past that was also linked to her mate centuries ago, her people wanted to make sure that what happened then didn't happen again. So every man, woman, child, they are all trained to fight evil, even though they don't have powers, only Safia has the powers. They still, they all want to make sure that they're trained and that they are ready to confront this evil that is coming towards them. And it is demons, it is vampires. It was great. And you have the hero who is the Pe Petra? Petru. So you have the hero, Petru, and he's actually a little different than the other Carpathian males. He's still an alpha male. It is still, uh, you know, that over the top, uh, like alpha vibe that going on that she writes so well. But he actually understands and sees his mate as a partner. She's a warrior. She is someone who can be an extension of him and he can be an extension of her and they can work well together to to fight the ancient evil. She is not someone who you just go and you're like, oh, you stay here and I'm going to go save the day. He understands, no, we need to work together. And this whole storyline, especially with the dark memory, it is a memory that is hidden and that they're ties have been throughout centuries. His mate has been essentially like reincarnated. And that whole storyline, it was handled so well and so unique and intriguing. And I liked uh, everything here that Feehan brought to the table. And it actually made me want to read uh, more and more of these books. This has been my favorite series forever. And Dark Tarot kind of sent it into um, a new direction. It was a refreshing direction, but I still wasn't all the way sold on the storyline. I wasn't quite sure how I feel, but I, I'm liking it. And I like the the character that's basically like that we get little hints of throughout these books where they call him the Beast, but he's an ancient Carpathian male, and they, they think he's going to be horrible, like possibly worse than a vampire and he's locked away in hell not by his own accord and so he's like testing all of the boundaries and he wants out and I'm really fascinated I can't wait to when we finally get to his story I think it's it's a few books off but I think his story is going to be very very intriguing whenever we finally get there so I've really enjoyed um dark memory solid four-star reads 
um, all the way. Can't wait for the next one uh, sometime next year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.